Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now we will learn about the GitHub. So now we have learned about the Git and all those things. Now we will learn about this GitHub. So what is this GitHub and how is it differs with the Git thing? So now in this video, what we'll see is what exactly is the GitHub and what does it do? So coming to this one, GitHub actually, the GitHub has evolved over the years. So with so many by adding the bunch of features. Okay. So in a single line, what I can say is that GitHub is nothing but a hosting platform for the Git repositories. That means GitHub provides the hosting service to host our repositories. To host our repositories, nothing but our code, our application, to host our application into the cloud. So it, the GitHub provides us a way. Now, if you try to see here, I already told you, right? GitHub allows us to host our Git repository in the cloud. So that means this provides that we can access the code from anywhere. So by hosting the git code into the github it allows us to access the code from anywhere and also share the code with the people around the world so that means if i want to share my code so whatever the code i have written i want to share it with you means github provides us a platform to share the code with you okay so this is the main concept so github provides along with this uh, sharing and all the things it has some bunch of other features let's try to learn coming videos now and also what I can say is what is the difference between this then git and github. So how, how come git differs from the github. First we will learn about this github. Github has a huge differences with the github. So what is that one is git as we already told that it is a distributed version control software that runs locally on your machine. So if you observe up to now what we have learned about the git commands and all those things. These all we learn in our local machine only. So with the, there is no internet necessary for this one. So there is no registration of the account nothing is there so just we learn the commands and we we are able to do the time travel and we are able to modify the code whatever the thing we want using this git software so that is the thing you need to remember git is a distributed version control software that runs locally in your machine and you don't have to register anything for an account so you do there is no need for us to get an account in order to use the git and also you don't need internet to use it also just you install the git in your system then you are ready to go and you can have the code uh, you can initialize the git repository in your application okay whereas github github is nothing but a service that hosts repository in the cloud so that means if you are having a git repository in your local machine so github will pro will host that repository in the cloud and makes it easier to collaborate with other people so that other people also which are having their their own system in through the through their system also they can do they can do the collaborate with your code and also you need to do you need to have a sign up for, for an account to use the github so that means in order to use the github you need to sign up for an account and also it's an online place to share work that is done using git so what i can say is so it is an online place so it needs an internet so that you can share the work that you have done using the git so github provides as a way to share the work that is done using the git so this is this is the simple way what we can say the difference between the git and the github now I, you can get a doubt that then is there any other uh, is there any other alternatives or competitors for the github so yeah yeah as according to that one as this github is an hosting service so there are also alternative services to the github also so there are so many tools that provide similar hosting and also the collaboration features collaboration features means to tie up with other users so working collaboratively with other users so the tools that provide the similar hosting service are GitLab, Bitbucket and Gerrit. So these are the some of the marketing, uh, these are the some of the services that provides the similar Git hosting services. These are the alternatives to the GitHub, what we can say. Then why we need to use GitHub? So if you are having other alternatives and all those things, then why I need to use the GitHub? So you can get a doubt this one. GitHub became very popular these days. So what I can say is GitHub became very popular these days in the IT market and all those things. GitHub is founded in actually 2008. Now it is the world's largest host of the source code. So now it has become the world's largest source code hosting service. So whatever the source code you are having, so all the companies and all things, it provides the largest part of the hosting thing. GitHub reported that they are having over 60 million users. So that means 60 million developers are working collaborating with the GitHub and also there are about 200 million repositories on the platform so that means they are having about 200 million repositories on their platform so that means they are having 65 million users right now in the 
github and also 200 million repositories in the platform so it provides the largest host of the source code and also what i can say so another thing is github is free so you can know you will be able to know that github is a free and github offers its basic services everything for a free so basic services that is provided in the github is free so while it does also offers paid team and enterprise tiers. so it also has some other uh, paid paid uh, plans like team and enterprise tiers. so we will try to see that one in the github website the basic free tier is allows for unlimited public and private repositories and unlimited collaborators also we don't know so we will see check that one so the basic basic free tier allows us for unlimited public and private repositories and more also so let's try to see so now this is about the github so why we need to use the github github is useful for sharing the code in the cloud so that means for example if you are working in one computer you have the code in that computer suddenly you have bought a new laptop so now you need to dump all this code to in your new laptop so now if you have a hosting service that is the code is deployed in the github means automatically you can connect it to the github and you can dump the code from the github present in the github so that you can collaborate so you can work wherever you want using the github so now let's if you open the github website so github.com website so it will be looking like this so here you'll be able to see a globe so it is showing that uh, something like a nice animation the arrow marks what are the commits as be as are going to be uh, are done right now so it is showing the commits so if you if you over here so you'll be able to see that python and all those things there commits are going on so now here you'll be able to see that where the world builds the software so now here you'll be able to see that it has having 65 million developers right now 3 million organizations are organizations are using the github and also it is having 200 million repositories it seems 200 plus million repositories 72 percent of the fortune 50 companies are using the github you need to know that 72 percent of the fortune 50 companies out of fortune 50 companies 72 percent are using github only so now if you try to go the pricing plans okay so here you are having free so basic for individuals and organizations so it is a it is providing a free tier so here you'll be able to see that unlimited public and private repositories you'll be able to see and it is telling that 2000 actions or minutes per month it is saying so we'll try to see this one also free for public repositories and we are, and it is providing 500 mb of package stories and free for the public repositories it is saying and you'll be having the community support so most of the time we'll be using this free and here you are having some team and the enterprise also so you will be able to see that single sign on and all those things you see so these are the so right now we don't need these all things if you want you can do the enterprise and also just it's a four bucks or 21 bucks and here we will be uh, mostly dealing with the free service only it is providing unlimited and public private rep rep repositories most of the companies most of the other uh, hosting providers will not provide unlimited thing so if you have a subscription plan something like that it will providing the basic thing only but github will providing unlimited thing now if you go to the home page so we will see here so we have already seen that it is providing 65 million and all those things it is having so if you come down so here you will be able to see that give your code a home in the cloud so that means so give your code a home in the cloud so that means you are giving your code a home in the cloud it seems okay and here you will be able to see the code so how to push it into the git and here you will be able to see that build what so how to commit this and all and also here you will be able to see that how to raise the pr and how to pay pr pull request has been raised and how the it reviews and if you want to give any comments here you can see how we can and here we will be able to see the merging thing also so pull request merging thing merging the pull request and here also you will be able to see and these are all the features so what are the all the features you will be having github action so that you can will be automatically deployed in the server and all those things it is showing so this is are all the features so let's try to see we will see it in the coming videos and here we are having some amazing uh, what is it what is this it's an ad image i don't know how the what is this thing so yeah we are having a, a nice image here also so this is all about the github home page you will be able to see the github home page so you will be able to know that this is the most popular github git hosting repository you need to remember so we will learn about this github how to host the our git repository code in the github and we will try to see one by one hope you understood about this what is meant by github why, why we need why we will be using this github if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you